So you want to start your own business in Tennessee but don't know where to start? Well in this video I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to form an LLC in Tennessee, including preparing the right forms, registering your LLC, accomplishing crucial naming requirements, and all other essential tips to starting your LLC. Then as a bonus, later in the video I will provide you with an opportunity to grab my free business startup success checklist. Part of this complete guide will reveal my trustworthy registered agent who will help set up your LLC for free and save you time and money. So make sure you stick with me until the end. Tennessee is a great place to start an LLC because of the business friendly climate and their quickly growing population. There are three ways to start an LLC in Tennessee. You can do it yourself, hire a professional service, or hire an attorney. First, let's talk about how to DIY your LLC registration. DIY LLC Formation There are seven basic steps that you need to follow to start an LLC in Tennessee. Step 1. Name your business. The first step is choosing a unique business name. To make sure that there are no existing businesses with the same name, you can do a search on the Business Name Availability section in the Tennessee Secretary of State's website. Check possible domain names and social media tags as well. The last thing you want to do is to register a business name and find out later that you have limited options in terms of your online pressing. www.namechecker.com is a great tool you can use for this step. The laws in Tennessee require you to add the phrase limited liability company or LLC to your name of choice. You can't use terms like corporation or anything else that could confuse people about what type of business entity you are. Adding these words would also require you to have a licensed professional as part of the LLC. Although it isn't a state requirement, you can pay $20 or serve your chosen business name for 120 days just to make sure that nobody else gets it before you get the chance to register it as your own. Step 2. Get a registered agent. Tennessee requires LLCs to have a registered agent who will serve as the primary point of contact for anything that has to do with your business. Although it's possible to register your own name or the name of friends and family as an agent, I highly recommend getting a professional. The registered agent will be receiving and managing tax warnings, subpoenas, and other critical legal papers on your behalf. While you may have trusted friends and family members who are willing to help out, a professional registered agent has the training needed to sort out potential issues and protect your company at all costs. Your registered agent also needs to be available during business hours and should have an actual physical address, not a PO box. While you might be tempted to use your own home address as a registered location, it's going to be part of the public record and might not be a wise move to expose your personal address. In this case, I recommend you use services like Anytime Mailbox, special link in the description below. They will provide you with a physical business address, scan your mail, and even forward it to your home. It's a very useful service at a very low cost. Worried about the cost? Hiring a registered agent is not that expensive. You can even get a registered agent for free if you pay for a service to register the LLC for you. I highly recommend Zen Business, a service that can help you register your LLC and includes a registered agent as part of the package at no extra cost. Zen Business also provides a dashboard where you can keep a close track of all the documents and correspondence that the agent receives. Feel free to check out my special link on Zen Business if you are interested in signing up for their service. Step 3. Filing the Articles of Organization The next step is filing the Articles of Organization which is filed with the Tennessee Secretary of State. It usually costs $50 per member with a minimum of $307 and a maximum of $3,000 for both domestic and foreign LLCs. What's the difference? A domestic LLC means that you're a resident of Tennessee who wants to build a business in Tennessee. On the other hand, a foreign LLC means that you live outside Tennessee but would like to build a business or start a franchise of an existing business in Tennessee. This part of the process can take up to three weeks if you file by mail while online applications are processed immediately. They do not offer expedited filings. The good news is, Zen Business can help you with this process for free, as well as the two other previous steps by signing up to their starter plan. No other formation service offers a great deal like this. This will save you a lot of time, plus allow you to feel secured knowing that a professional is looking after your business. Step 4. Prepare an operating agreement. Tennessee doesn't require LLCs to have an operating agreement. However, it's best practice to have one in place, especially if there are other members deciding for the business. An operating agreement outlines every critical process that needs to be followed, especially when it comes to big picture issues. Followed, especially when it comes to big picture issues. These issues may include allocation of earnings and losses in case the company is dissolved, decision-making process and voting rights, transfer of membership interests, profits and losses, and any other concerns that impacts the business overall. 
And if you decide to use Zen Business to set up your LLC, they can help you with the operating agreement document for only $125. This will save you a lot of time and will ensure that you have all your documents in order for the registration process. And if you find information like this useful for your business, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel for more helpful content. Step 5. Obtain an EIN Getting an employer identification number or an EIN comes next. An EIN is a federal tax ID used by the IRS and is used to identify your firm on tax filings. This is also the identifier used when you pay your business privilege tax, open a bank account, or apply for permits and licenses. I know most processes where the IRS is involved can get tricky and confusing. Filling out these complicated forms also takes longer to complete than the previous steps. This makes having a registered agent who can handle all of this for you even more beneficial. Step 6. Open a business bank account. To open a business bank account, you're going to need an EIN, your business formation documents, a business license, and your ownership agreement if you have one. While this step requires you to make a trip to the bank, you can start up with an online banking service like Wise.com, where you can apply from the comfort of your home. I will leave a special discounted link in the description for you again. You could always go to the bank later when you have more time. Step 7. Buy a domain name. Now that you've got the physical aspects of the business covered, it's time to take care of your digital presence. Buy a domain name from Namecheap.com. They have the cheapest price and also provide domain name privacy for free. It will only cost you less than $10 per year, so make sure to grab your website name before anyone else takes it off you. There are still a few more important steps to take to fully complete your business setup, but it may drag this video out too long, so I have condensed everything into an actionable step-by-step -step checklist where you can grab it from here for free. Professional Formation Service See all those steps I walk you through in how to register an LLC in Tennessee? You don't need to worry about most of those steps if you have someone like Zen Business take care of the setup process for you. Again, Zen Business will do the whole LLC registration process for you, which means you do not have to do any of the previous steps 1 to 5. Zen Business offers a one-of-a-kind deal. At absolutely no charge for the first year, Zen Business will prepare and handle your state filings and help you check whether the business name you want is available or not. You only have to pay the state filing fees of $307 to $3,000. Going the DIY route means that you have to pay the fee anyway, so why not free up your time to work on your actual business and let Zen Business take care of what they do best. Zen Business has an in-house team that takes care of the entire registration process, so you're confident that you have professionals handling it for you. This is also why all of their plans have a 100% accuracy guarantee, which you don't get with many other providers who outsource all their work. That makes a free service a no-brainer deal. Now, if you want to expedite the filing process, you can upgrade to the 199 Pro package, which includes faster filing, worry-free compliance where they help you submit your annual reports, and a guided operating agreement. For an even faster one to two day processing time with all the bells and whistles, you can go all the way to the 299 premium plan, which also provides you with a domain name, a website, and a business email. If you have chosen one of these plans and are ready to get started, you can use a special link to go and create your LLC. The third way to register your LLC is by hiring an attorney. Hiring an attorney who specializes in business formation makes sense because they can help you minimize the risk while making sure you comply with every requirement. Your attorney will give you the most personalized service possible, but this comes at a cost. Building an LLC will cost you around $1,000 to $1,500 through an attorney, but this is more than worth it if your business is in a risky field or could have a lot of legal complications. I recommend signing up for Rocket Lawyer's 7-day free trial and taking advantage of the free consultation and review of documents. This will save you thousands of dollars when compared to other attorneys. Once you've decided that this is a service you really need, then you can pay for their premium service for $39.99 per month. Link to these services is available in the description below. Of course, if your business is low risk, your best option would still be to work with Zen Business. Have you thought about which option works best for you? If you think you can handle things yourself via the DIY route, watch this video that will help you choose the best bank account for you. But if you want the convenience of getting professional formation services and are interested in working with Zen Business, then I recommend you watch this in-depth tutorial and review that I made on their services. See you in the next video!